everyone welcome to my channel in this video i'm going to show you another aspect uh, of multiple response survey data analysis that some of my audience have asked questions on i think it's really important to get to understand how to go about this all right and um so how is survey data here that's um respondents in the survey we ask respondents which of the following um, electronic devices um they own so we have different devices here respondents selected and so on so we have our survey data where the responses for this multiple response question came in a multiple columns so i've covered in the past i've done videos on how to handle a multiple response question for different format of survey uh you know multiple response questions so you, you can check them out i will just put the link uh in the video so you can um, check it check them out okay so we are going to look at um we have a situation where we want to um so we've summarized our multiple response question we have a pivot table and from our pivot table what we have here is that uh 94 percent of the sample respondents say they own a smartphone so we'll be able to summarize our multiple response question from this table and we we know that um, 94 percent of our sample respondents own a smartphone there are two questions still pending because this was a multiple response question the 94 percent of respondents who say they own a smartphone might also own more than just a smartphone right so how many own just only smartphone we can't get that from this table right another question is that how many of this sample responder own just one device so that if it is kind of like uh, an intervention or um customers or whatever that you want to sell more device to it to be able to drill be able to drill out drill down your data to know out of the sample responders how many own just one device and even go further to know also which device do they own as just one right so how do we you know go further with this analysis all right so i'm going to use this sample data here and then i'm going to show you how to come uh go further with the analysis with regards to this multiple response question all right so what we are going to do is that first we need to understand our multiple response data how it appears so here uh we have um a, a survey data format where this multiple response question appear, came in multiple columns so where each selection appears in the data where it's not selected then it comes as blank right okay so if we look at the first responder to respondent id1 a 24 year old female who lives in an urban has secondary education is a currental employee or between work so if you come to the question of which uh, electronic device that she owns so she selected just smartphone so what it means is that this responder owns just a smartphone and all the other uh, columns are blank so it means that they own just one the second person selected tablet and desktop so they own two devices and so on so what we want to do is that we need to transform our data by adding a new column called number of devices so since we know each selection tells us the number of devices the person owns we will be able to count how many of these cells has uh, some information right which are which like are selections so how many of them are not blank will tell us the number of selections that the other respondent did and that will tell us the number of devices they own right so we are going to use a function so uh, what we are doing here you can do it before you load your data to power query and do your pivot for the multiple response question or you can send it to power query if you are comfortable with power query you can go there and still add a column so on all right so let's use a function for count any 
So what it means is that this function is going to count the number of cells in the range of this column from column G, G to column L of cells that are not empty, right? So that are not empty. So which what it means is that it will count any information in the, any of the cells within the range, even if it is an empty string. So if a cell is even having the space, it will count it, right? Okay. So we are going to use that, and then we select our range, the columns that we have the multiple response, and we press enter. So what do you see? So it tells us the number for each column, how many cells are not empty. All right. So we may want to go further to recode one into text. So what we can do is to wrap this function in the if function and say if counts of any of this row is equal to one, so we want to record it as one, right? So we want to record it as one. And then we can copy this function. We don't need to type it two. And then change if it's called to one, which if it's called to two, we want to record it as two. Um, and then you can paste if you have, if you want to know how many on three, four, and so on, you can just repeat that and change it. Otherwise here, in our case, otherwise we just say three or more devices, and then we are done. Good. So we just added a column that tells us for each of the the, the multiple response question how many devices that the person owns, and this is interesting. All right. So let's go back to our pivot table. Let's copy this one down, and then what we're gonna do is that we're going to set the, our new column here so let's just right click and then refresh for our newly added column to appear in our data table here right and here it is so if we want to just know how many people own just one device we can bring this one out and then we add our number of device column and we have it here right so here, unlike the multiple response, this percentages will add up to 100 because we are counting unique, or unique, uh, we are counting the number of selections that each person does. And remember, our new column is a single response question, so it should, must add up to 100%. So that is it. So if you check, we're going to have, this will add up to 100, right? And then if you check our multiple response question, it will add up to more than 100 percent because respondents were allowed to select more than one. I think I've covered, I've covered, covered the video on this. You can check it out. Okay. So now we know that 58 percent of our sample respondents own just one device, but we don't know which device do they own. <laughs> right. So if we want to break this down, what we can do is that we can move this to columns and then we bring the number of uh, the devices to to row and then depending on what we want to information we want to get we can either take percentage by row total or by column total so column total here tells us that 29 of the 50 respondents own just one device and out of that 29 20 seven of them own just a smart own smartphone so what it means is that out of those who own just one device 50 27 of them own smartphone or out of those who own smartphone which is 49 27 of them own that device only and then 17 own smartphone and other device and three own smartphone and other two device right so if we want to know 94, we know that 94% of sample respondents own a smartphone. But out of this, how many of them own just the smartphone? So in this case, we'll take percentage by row total. And that will tell us that out of the uh, out of those, the 94% of respondents who own a smartphone, 57% of them own that that device only right and that is it so this is how you handle uh, you go further to um further throw down the multiple response uh, variable to know how many uh 
who just one device, who device their own, and, and so on. All right, interesting. So now, what's uh, so this is how if you have this kind of multiple response question, this is how you go about it. So you use the count any function, count a function, right? And you wrap it in a function to record into one, two, three, four, five, up to the number of devices you have in your data. Now, how about the case where you have the multiple response question appear in a single column and each selection is separated by a comma delimiter? How do you go about this? So here, like I said, you can move this to Power Query, we split this, and then you can proceed. So first, what we need to do, we need to separate this into multiple columns. So this in Excel, we go to data, then we text the column, the limit, the limited, yes. Then we go further, our delimiter is comma, okay. Then we finish and we have it here. So we have two more columns have been added. So we split this by the comma delimiter. So you can just copy this header through to the second two columns so that it will appear uh, as a normal multiple response question. So here we add our number of device, our new column, number of devices. And then it's the same thing like the previous one. So we transform it back to the multiple column uh, kind of multiple response question. So we use the count any function and then we count any function we select the rows, there, there are three rows, and then we we are done. So we can recode this to and wrap this in function. We say if this is equal to one, we want to record it as one, and then we can copy this function. Let's copy, we say if this is equal to two, we want to code it as two. If you have three, four, five, and so on. You can repeat the function and just change it. Otherwise, in our case, we want to return three, four, four, okay. And then we close when we are here. So you get the same thing as the previous one. So if you've, if you've already um, pivoted, you just go and refresh your pivot table and you have your new column and then you can set it, okay. Then how about this one? So this one is the simplest one. In this kind of multiple response question, what it means is that each selection is coded as one. The Y zero means that it wasn't selected by a respondent, and one means that it was selected. So if you check the first respondent, we have just one, and then that one is a smartphone. So that respondent owns just a smartphone. So it's just one device that they own. So what it means is that if we want, we can just count only cells that have one, or we can find the sum for each column and it will tell us the number of ones that are there right so you can add a column and say number of inferences so like i said let's use the sum function and sum this okay and good we have it so the same thing here to you can put add the if function wrap this in the if function if this is equal to one, we want to code it as one, and then we can repeat this function, right? So if this is equal to two, we want to code it as two. Otherwise, this if it's three, we repeat, right? Otherwise, we want to go to three or more devices, and we close. So this is one way. Another way you can do is to use the sum if function. Not sum if, you can use the count if function. So let's try that and see. So let's just say A, A, A. Okay, and we say count if, count, count this range <laughs> with. So what we want to do is to count, this range only if the cell contains one this one let's wrap this right and to give us the same thing so the same thing we can record this by adding 
an if function p a uh, and then if it's equal to one we want to call it as one uh, and then we can just copy this one to like that repeat it but uh, you have it so we have two otherwise three or more okay good so that's it so you can use uh, in this case you can use either the sound function or you use the count if um for one you count to one and then you have it okay so now that is it how about uh, this kind of multiple response question where you have the responses are coded uh, yes or no way yes means that that's uh, that's uh, that's a uh, response item was selected and no means otherwise so let's do this number of devices is the same thing so similar to the one or one and zero structure we use count if so we use the count if function and here we know that if it's selected then it's coded as yes so we have to we want to count cells that are if it has yes right if it has yes and then we have it so the same thing here you can wrap this in the if function and say that if the count is equal to one you want to code it as one and then you can copy this to Right, you can copy this and change it if it's equal to two. You code it as two, otherwise, you want to code it as three or one. You see, that is it. So, we are done. And the last structure is the true or false. So, the true or false and the yes or no are similar. So, here too, you use the count if function, but here what you want to count as true so you wrap the true let's just say number of devices is equal to count if count this the range if the cell contains uh, true you have to ensure that the spelling matches the address good so this one too you can record it by wrapping it in the if function and, um, and then that's it so this is how we handle we go further to analyze the multiple response question where we want to know how many selected just one uh, electronic device two three and so on and then out of the number of the responders who own a smartphone how many of them own just a smartphone or how many own smartphone and a device and so on and that's it Thank you.